Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 10 of True Survival. And in part 9, I told you guys I'm just going to sell everything at the trader. We did give a few things away to people that we met. I gave, um, I gave Karina a shotgun. So I gave a few items away that I had, but that doesn't matter. Um, we've got an AK-47 which is just about the most powerful AR you can have. We've got an SVD, which is just about the most powerful sniper you can have, except for, like, the M82. Okay, but when it comes to high damage sniper rifles, it's right there at the top. Um, we've got a weapon repair kit that helps us a heck of a lot. Like, we can repair this SVD immediately. And we can repair our pistol immediately. And yeah, so when it comes to medical equipment, the antibiotics goes for a lot of money, guys. Of course, the antibiotics does help you, but you can die and lose the antibiotics on you. So, you know, so having something that expensive on you or just in case you're going to get infection, is really not worth it. Um, charcoal gold goes for a few, but like I say, antibiotics, really worth good money. Okay. The alcohol, not really. Painkillers, yes. Uh, painkillers is worth a lot, but of course, painkillers are more or much more important, you know, in game. And then the other, you know, the other medical things you can still sell, they're still worth something. Um, you can always sell the extra, you know, the extra emergency bandages packs that you get. If you've got extra painkillers, you can sell that as well. Okay, so just with a few medical items, we already got about thousand seven hundred bucks right there. Okay, and then we can always see how much the weapon repair kit goes for. Although there's just fifty percent left of the weapon repair kit, we can see how much it's worth. What's up? If you're trying to rob the police, uh, three hundred. I'm well armed. If we double this thing's value, it's definitely going to go up in value. So I'm rather going to repair this. I'm think we're going to get an extra four hundred if we repair this. Um. So yeah, I'm thinking repairing this is better. Six fifty nine. Yeah, nine hundred. So definitely got a lot more value out of that weapon repair kit. A weapon repair kit is rare. You know, I understand it's rare. Well, you know, so it's not the best decision in the world to sell that. All right, let's do this. But we're just going to basically sell everything on us that we don't need. Um, just go through the list here quickly. Okay. Guns come unloaded. Security reasons. Obviously. So we can buy a yellow screwdriver, guys. We can we can buy a yellow screwdriver, okay? Which won't really be a bad idea. Yeah, buying a yellow screwdriver won't really be a bad idea, but you know, that thing we want to be geared. Guns so to be geared, we're going to equip the SVD Obviously. quickly. Okay, so we're going to go SVD. We're going to buy one magazine is more than enough. But since we've got money, we're going to go with two magazines. And then we're going to go with the ammo. Um, and since the magazine is less important than that, I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to go with that for now because I'd like to get a sight as well. I'd like to put a sight on as well. So we're just going to do that for now. Okay. And then we're going to go with the scope. And this is definitely one of my favorite scopes. So I'm going to go for that one. If that one doesn't fit. I'll be very, very surprised. And then, of course, we're going to need to craft to craft a, 
a rail. Which is not that difficult. Okay, so we're going to unpack 20 rounds. The magazine only takes 10 rounds. Okay, so it's fine. We're only going to use this when we really, really need to use it. Okay, we're not going to use it for fun. We're going to use it to defend ourselves. Okay, so then we take out the SVD. SVD is loaded. Now we're just going to need a rail, okay? And to craft the rifle rail, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure this can't go on here. I oh, know, 100% sure. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to craft the rail, which I can't because it needs medium. It needs medium rifles, okay? But we can get to medium rifles quite easily. It's going to take some time. But we can get there. Um, of course, events aren't allowed on True Survival. So, okay. Improvised rifle rail. Let me just check here quickly. What's up? Guns come unloaded. Security reasons, obviously. Okay, so those are those rails. Gonna check here for insurance sake, guys. Getting to medium rifles won't take a very long time. But I just want to check for interest sake. Get a piece of scrap metal quickly. Maybe a better piece of scrap metal. Welcome, see ya. welcome. Feel free to browse around. Okay, that's good. That's good. We can't... We can't buy them. Which I'm happy with. I'm happy with that. Okay. So, we're going to need to buy AK ammo. Actually, we could just go back and um, sell absolutely everything that we can sell on us of course if you can join events guys getting to medium rifles is extremely easy welcome welcome Feel extremely extremely around. easy but we're gonna have to do it the hard way here so um i'm just gonna sell everything on me that i don't like at the moment that i'm going to explain to you guys why don't really care about repairing stuff guys really i don't care about repairing clothing i'm not that desperate at the moment got food on me which is great that's the extra 300 okay so i've got 2400 and guys yeah, I'm going to make part 10 the final part. Okay, you guys have seen uh, have seen me do a kill box. You guys know I can do a kill box. It's going to take quite some time to gather the screwdrivers and everything. Okay. Not going to take a lot of time, but I want to move on to bigger, you know, to more guide-focused videos before the 0 0.8 update comes out. I guarantee you I'm well armed. Because as soon as the 0 0.8 update comes out, uh, I'm going to be um, focusing on gameplay videos, okay? Going to be doing a gameplay series on Survival Evolved, a squad-based gameplay series. I'm going to be doing a single gameplay series, which will be the main guide, the main guide I will be doing in single player. And then I will be doing a hardcore, um, a hardcore series as well, okay? Um, and depending on how right. much you guys like Let's each series, like, I'll definitely stick to the guide series, um, and I'll definitely be doing the, the squad, you know, the squad on Survival Evolved series. I'll just see how you guys feel about the, the hardcore series, you know, how many of you enjoy it. But I am planning three... Ga you know, two gameplay series, one on Survival Evolved, 
the which is um squad based one on um meat grinder which will be hardcore and then the other one will be the guide series okay and i just want to get a few you know just want to get a few guides out of the way so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go for All ak47 right. here and we just want to get the ammo so that is one box of ammo there that's good and i forgot about the nine more forgot about the nine more 675 675 Ooh, what can we sell for that i think i was a bit rushed there with my decision but in any case let's just load this magazine There we go. And yeah, guys, the main thing while I'm while I'm gonna end the series, there's not a lot of people playing on the server at the moment, and I've got a lot of things I have to get done. Um, you know, and planning wise, um for the new servers. Okay. I'm busy working with um server hosting companies, you know, to get the perfect um dedicated server. So I'm just busy with a lot of things in the background. And um, yeah, you know, we've reached, we've reached the pinnacle. Okay. Except for having the, <laughs> you know, except for having the scope on the SVD. We can still shoot the SVD. Okay. We can still, we can still shoot the SVD. It's not that bad. We can still kill people with the SVD. But we've, we've reached you know, we've reached that status. We've hit, we've hit the, we've hit the max, you know, the max build, basically. Got the best AR, we've got one of the best, um, sniper rifles, we've got a hiking backpack, got the best helmet. Funny enough, we don't have the best armor on yet. That is weird. Did we sell our armor? What the hell happened to our armor? Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We need to repair all these items over here. Need a toolbox for that. And yes, we can we can buy a, a motorcycle now, I guess. Like re like seriously, I think we can buy a motorcycle now if we sell everything that we have. Let's see how much is everything worth on us. That's uh, about 8,000 there. I mean, a, a, a motorcycle is not, is not worth a fortune, okay? If you're just looking for transport, then a mountain bike is not a bad idea, okay? Mountain bike for 9,000, not a bad idea if you just want... You know, some kind of transport. And then, of course, my favorite option will be the dirt bike. On my server, it costs 14000 Okay. The only reason it costs so much here is because there's very few players on the server. But I think I'm going to change that as well, you know, on all my servers so that the player base doesn't influence the, the prices um, so hectically. But you can pick up a dirt bike easily for 14,000, you know, maybe even 12,000 on a max pop server, like a 64 pop server. Um, you know, and once you do a kill box, you can buy a car immediately, guys. You know, you don't have to aim for the car. You can aim for the motorcycle, but as soon as you do a kill box, okay, the, whatever you get from the kill box will give you, um, you know, will give you the car 
But, yeah, seeing as it's the last episode, I think we're just going to do the C2 bunker. Okay. And see what we can get up to. Let's just see. Do we have any... We can, of course, open the medical lockers. That's fine. I just want to get me some armor. I've got three screwdrivers on me. That's a bit sad. But in any case, I think we're on single shot. Yeah. So we can just level up our rifle skill as we go. But I mean, you can defend yourselves now. You can kill someone. You can, you know. You can go wild. You are basically fully geared at this point. And then you can literally like have the minimum amount of loot on you so that you haven't got that much to lose and just keep looting and selling the loot that you get. Like everything. You know, you run around without armor on. Okay, just warm clothing. Just clothing that, that can carry a heck of a lot of loot. And you just keep on looting dangerous points of interest. And you keep selling, selling your loot and then burying your money. Okay, and keeping your money safe will be a lot easier when the um, banks come out, which is going to come out quite soon. Um, I saw with the interview um, that Drake had had with the devs that they're going to bring in a different system to respawning that is not going to cost fame points. But I think the main point is you'll have somewhere to put your money. Okay, that will be the big thing that you can loot, Go to the trader, sell everything you found, put the money in the bank, and go loot again. Okay? That will be a repeatable process as soon as the banks come in, comes into the system. For now, yes, you can't do it for now. But you'll definitely be able to do it when the banks come out. Okay? I'm sure you'll be able to do it when the banks come out. But yeah, I just want to cover a lot of things that they've updated. Okay. Um, different guides and other videos that I want, to, that I want done before the 0 0.8 update comes out. Because that 0 point update is, of course, going to bring out new things that I want to cover. Okay. But I don't want to be too distracted from the brand new Ultimate Guide series that we're going to do. Okay, and the squad gameplay that we're going to do on Survival Evolved. So, yes. Let's kill puppets, shall we? Let's kill puppets. If there's any questions that you guys still have, please leave it down in the comments below. Yeah. If there's any, any questions that you guys still have, please leave it down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to answer them. Definitely losing a lot of speed when you run with a weapon in your hands. You've got the danger of not being ready when someone comes, but I mean, switching to your weapon isn't that, you know? Yes, you can die. That split second, like, if I see a person now, he's probably going to win because I first have to take out my gun. You know? But, yeah, you run a lot slower with a gun equipped. So always remember that. And I mean, it does make a difference. 23.4. 21. Like two and a half kilometers per hour slower. And you're going to use performance score 69. 59. Okay. I just thought, like, 
um, one of my viewers the other day told me, you know, that the uh, that the tactical jacket that I'm wearing is affecting my speed in a big way. I told him it's just about one and a half kilometers per hour slower, you know, but it but it makes a difference. It definitely makes a difference over over a long period of time. You don't really feel it in the short run, but you'll definitely feel it in the long run. So yeah, I just found it funny that I told told him a tactical jacket won't kill me. You know, but now I'm thinking like running with a weapon won't kill me. <laughs> well, I'm saying to you, riding with a weapon will kill you. You know, will kill your speed, which is quite funny. How did he shoot me? How did he shoot me? Oh. <laughs> I can't remember being hit that hard on True Survival. Something is really weird. Like, that was a really hard hit, guys, on True Survival. I think that was one make shot, according to me. One make shot, maybe. That was really, really hard, man. Really, really, really hard. That was very weird. I'm just basically going to pick up my gun and go for it. Yo, that, that big shot me for a heck of a lot of damage. Oh my word. What was that? Like four health. One, two, three, four health. That was insane, man. my god that's all that matters clear it out quickly guns are doing a lot more damage guys a lot more damage a heck of a lot more damage than they used to do
using the bullets to the full but yeah the ammo is doing a lot more damage a heck of a lot more damage I just want to clear the area so I'm not surprised by any puppets I want to attract the puppets from the outside as well just to clear them as well Okay, they're not interested in coming so it's fine so now i'm just gonna log out log back in to see my body happens a lot in bunkers the best thing is to always have items on your back first find the items that was in your back you can't see your body in the close vicinity then just log out and log back in but the items on your back will always fall directly on the floor so that's your safeguard in finding your body again here our body's back go Okay, that's not too bad, repair this, clearly shot us through the chest, can't believe it did so much damage, but it did, it did, Okay, let's go. Let's go find it. Hmm. That's a nice one. Repair this one first. Go. Do a little nice proper loot run, yeah? There we go, we know we can sell that. on single shot which is good the backpack in there yep normal camouflage backpack really look for medical equipment in here look for some medical equipment in here because this is medical medically focused it's a medical room
Okay, let's go further. Let's clear out this bunker, shall we? Let's see how much experience we get from 60 rounds. 60 AK rounds. Anything in the depots? Well, let's get shooting then. Try not to waste your rounds, don't go for headshots. Do not waste the rounds. You want experience. You want experience from the rounds, so don't waste them. Just gonna look here. Okay. Nice hiking backpack. But of course, we're just looking for armor at the moment. else okay and I'm gonna clear out the place guys I'm definitely definitely gonna clear out the place eh? for that experience was nice just treat the wound quickly okay we need we need to cut up clothing definitely definitely need to cut up clothing this is a great thing to cut up right here any backpack is, can give you a heck of a lot of rags Like I told you guys, I'm just going to disinfect them. Powerful disinfectant drags. There we go. Now we've got a new magazine. Again, I'm just going to open everything because I don't really care. Clear out the whole bunker. We didn't get any vest, which is a bit unlucky, but it's fine. Now we can literally just focus on emptying this place. So let's search and destroy, shall we? Search and destroy.
Military is looking for anything in here now. Let's go get the enemy, shall we? And now it's fairly quiet. The bunker is ours in case a person comes in here. There's raincoat. Raincoat is good for rags as well. See you guys? Inside. If it's not in, on top, it's inside. You see? Okay, how many bullets have we used so far? We did miss a few, which is bad. We used about 50 rounds. We used about 50 rounds. 21%. To medium. Not too bad. So, times five. We will have to do this about five times to get to medium, medium rifles. But it's fine, we're going to use the sniper rifle as well. Of course, we just like doing that. And then we're just going to open one of these lockers to see if we're lucky. Okay, so that was just an alcohol. But boring. If we can maybe get a few more uh, screwdrivers. That's just the hat. Of course, that big room can always give us a lot of loot, guys. The, if we loot the big room properly, we know that room can give us a cool lot of loot. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just loot the big room? But before we loot the big room, let's go down, go down here quickly. Get more puppets. Close the door behind us. Mm. 
Now we just keep searching. Of course, we can grab a tactical vest from the military puppet. We can. Short term solution. That will be the short term solution. Not the perfect solution, but it will be a short term solution. MRE. That's a very, 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 very good find. And another MRE. That's funny. That was actually funny that we didn't see it because of the height. That was quite funny. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. wild man that's wild Here we are at the kill box. Door. And yes, guys, looting that big room is a great idea. Okay, fantastic idea for ammo and attachments and who knows what loot you can get inside there. But everywhere in a bunker can be profitable. Anywhere in a bunker can be profitable. Oh, there's still puppets in here. Somewhere. Where are they hiding? Quite a big bunker this, I must say. Of course I knew that. C2 is one of the biggest bunkers in the game. But it's got a lot more to it that me than meets the eye.
Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And that's it guys. Short from getting the rail. Okay. Which is not the end of the world. Bit weird that you can't buy the rail. <laughs> What I'm saying, or is the R R I S R S I adapter for all the guns? I'm not sure. I'll have to check that out. I will have to check that out, man. I will have to check that out. Let's get to the, let's get to, yeah, let's get to the trader and find out about this rail, shall we? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and according to me, I guarantee you, these two weapons are very, very the same, and I'll explain to you why I say that. I'll explain that to you quite soon. Okay, let's just sell all the high priority loot here. Mm. Block. Oh, let that go. That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. Nobody cares. Okay, so RIS is of Security. course going to solve all your problems. Obviously. That's not a rail, but it's an adapter. Adapter will solve all the problems. Three and a half thousand is not that bad. Okay, we all know we can get to three and a half thousand quite easily. Okay, that is very important for a kill box. Having that for a kill box is very, very important. It's, it's rather better to bury that. Personally, I'd rather bury that as soon as possible. Okay? But, because these rifles look the same to me, you know, they just look the same. I am thinking... That you can put this long improvised rail on there. Yes. Okay, just because they, if you look at the you know, the wood, the wood, you know, the way the gun looks at the top, you know, just just more rifle shaped than sniper shaped. You know, it's more, it's got that, you know, it's more rifle shaped than sniper shaped. So you can use the long improvised rail on the SVD. And I can make a long improvised rail again. Okay, all I need is a scrap metal and an improvised workbench. Which will be very, very easy. Okay. Um, so why don't we do that? We've got six screwdrivers in case a cargo drop lands over our head. What we want now is nine mil ammunition. Just to complete the package. If you're trying to rob the place, I guarantee you. I'm well armed. Nine millimeter ammo. One, two, three. Uh, now I'll sell a few magazines. Not the end of the world. That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. No. Let's guns buy it again. Loaded. Security reasons. Obviously. One, two. I think one, two is more than enough. I think two is more than enough to load most of the nine more magazines. There we go. Uh, 
go. I mean, the 9 mil only takes 15 rounds, so we'll be able to load four magazines with this. There we go. Load second half with that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Four fully loaded magazines. We just still stack those, that ammo there. We've still got AK ammo, surprisingly. We have still got AK ammo, surprisingly. Very, very surprisingly. What just happened? So that ammo was clearly bugged. <laughs> That ammo was clearly bugged. Yeah, because we haven't got any more ammo to put into this magazine. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. Just check here. Four rounds. We can remove these four rounds quickly. And then put them in there. There we go. And there we go. AK-15. What? Really, 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 are you kidding me? That is funny. AK-15 magazine. We did have we did have two of the same magazines. Oh, there's the other magazine. Okay, no, let's just sell no, this one. Secure that thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. And no, then of course AK cares. ammo is very, very expensive. 1977. Yeah, it's it's expensive. We could probably get there. We could probably get there. Do we want to? That's the thing. We can probably get there, but do how desperate are we to get there? That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. No. Why? No, let's come unload it. Okay. Obviously. One nine. One nine. Okay. So we need about 700 more. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around. We need about 700 more. <laughs> well, no way we're getting it here. Let's see what you have. Make sure. Hey okay, guys, and of course, you can always go to the scummap.com, look where there's rails, okay? I'm quickly going to go to the prison for us, because I know there's a workbench over there. Let's just look. You can get a workbench at a town as well, but I mean, yeah, I think this is the closest place now at the moment. I think the prison is the closest place, so let's complete the kit and the video.
Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's come a cars your way in here. Doing a bit of a more interesting route at the moment. Meg is still looking at us. Okay, the Meg is giving up. Went orange there for a while, but it's fine. Never panic, never, never panic. And we're going to make the rail, guys. We're going to call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed the series with me. Okay, I hope you guys learned something. I'm very excited about the new series. Extremely excited about the new series. I think you love an SVD. Don't you love an SVD? Bow. You're dead. Okay, now we just need some scrap metal, which is right there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Suppressor. If we want to make a suppressor, we can do it. We can do it, do it. If we get a car, we can repair it a little bit. Although these. Which is already pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so we can put a suppressor on there. We should need that, that, and a toolbox. That, that, and a toolbox. Toolbox shouldn't be impossible to find inside here. Yeah? Really shouldn't be that difficult to find. There's a toolbox. <laughs> Hello? Hello? It sounds absolutely blooming awesome. So there's the toolbox. Here's the workbench. And now we can make the suppressor.
And now we can put the suppressor on the sniper rifle, which is fantastic. And now we can craft the long rail. Put the long rail on there. And the red dot on there. And then we just can just keep looting and get rich. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the series, please do me a favor and click that like button. If you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, click the subscribe button and I will see you guys tomorrow with another well-educated video. <laughs>